and welcome back to Sadie Spincraft. We're going to carry on spinning the Shetland uh, for today, but I want to talk about the spinning for a shawl. I'm going to keep the um, Paul with for the jumper, I've decided. Hi, Chris. How are you, sweetheart? So, what? I don't know. Not that one. What's that? Mixed mystery bats. It's around here somewhere. There it is. So, what I've decided for the shawl. Hi Angela, how are you? Did you say spinning? To... Um, yesterday I thought to myself, oh, my fleece to jumper series, I'll turn it to a fleece to shawl. Well, I've decided, no, we'll leave it as fleece to jumper. Um, eventually I will get round to spinning the pole with that I've spent a year uh, dying and sorting out and whatever else. Good morning, Carol. How are you? Happy Thanksgiving to those in Canada. But in this bag, I have its Shetland alpaca laps. So, I'm sorry to open. Botany laps. And what I want to do is put it back through the carder. And then spin it up for a shawl. But I don't know whether to do two ply or three ply. I think I might go three ply and make a really nice chunky thick one. What do you say? With this Shetland alpaca blend. We'll uh, start blending that tomorrow actually because this is just a little project i wanted to do so it's not actually going to go into anything it's just going to be another yarn to put in the shop eventually so i don't need to get that done and finished technically just yet <laughs> polworth is fine i love polworth um perrindale now, if you can't cope with the shortness of Polworth, but like the softness, I would get Perrindale because Perrindale's just, oh. It would be so comfy and um, luxurious. You are right, Carol. Careful, it might get super hot at three-ply chunk. I don't care. I don't like being cold and it's coming up to winter and that's what I'm thinking of while I'm sat in this attic because of, my radiator is tiny and it's pointless. I think I've got a fly. Um, so I want something just to put over my shoulders and to cover my back because I, I don't, don't like and can't have my back getting cold with the rods and uh, screws in there. So... Yeah, that's what I'm planning, so that I've got some nice, warm, thick around me to keep me warm. Yeah, that's what I'm planning. So, you like me overalls? Thank you. <laughs> I bought them in a moment of, oh, my God, I haven't worn dungarees for years. And I used to wear them all the time. I used to have so many different types. And then one day I just got rid of them all. And now I've thought to myself, no, I want them all back again. So I started with some jean ones and I'll get some cotton ones and, you know, different types for different weathers because it's good for keeping my back warm. Oh, my spine bit, which is what I want. Computers tell go away. There we go. Yes, it does get cold where I am. And in the attic, it gets even colder until I can sort out that. 
Um, but once that's sorted, it should warm up a little bit up here, but attics are cold. So that's my plan. So let's do a little bit of this, unless you want to see some drum carding. I don't know. You want painter's pants in the worst way. Covered in paint and absolutely looking spectacular. Yeah, eventually these will be covered in dye and looking spectacular too. Because that's another reason why I want them. Because they're going to be good for when I'm outside, either washing fleece or dyeing fleece or whatever. Our winters get cold. Oh, hang on, I've missed some. Do, 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 no, I am. <laughs> Our winters get cold. Many years ago, I would see 40, minus 40 in January and February. Wow. What do I feel like doing? I don't know. I actually feel like, hi, Nat. Do you know what? You're going to see the mess, but I don't care. I'm going to hope I can turn you so you can see what's going on and we'll start we'll start getting that Shetland alpaca through the blender and well not blender <laughs> show the mess there's wrappers and all sorts I sit up here and eat and spin and drink and <coughs> Right, let's, let's hope it doesn't disrupt too, too much. Right, I'm going to have to shift that out, won't we? Move them. Hang on. So I've got a little one of these and a massive one of these, for depending on which size we have. Yarn wise, right, I'm going to need that. May need that at some point. Don't need coins. Look, mess. So let's. I want it to be blended and stuff for the simple reason. Um, it'll be easier to work with rather than getting it out and. Hoping <laughs> that it does some. Got a feeling this might get stuck on my drum card, which is why I'm just fluffing it a bit. <laughs> it is very much I got the ball winder yeah I think we've all got one nearly will you spin the shawl yarn and dye it lit I wasn't thinking of dyeing it I was thinking of keeping it this colour um, and then if it works making up enough yarn in the same sort of yarn <laughs> as what I've spun this in. Sorry, I started reading and lost my train of thought then. Right, so what I want to do, this is just going to be, once I have blended and spun this up and then knitted it into a shawl, I'm going to write my pattern for my shawl how much yardage you need, and this, that, and other. And I'm going to put yarn up onto the shop with a knitted 
um, shawl pattern by me. <laughs> and hope, hope that I can wrap. I'd have the Swift that came with it, but I broke it. Oh, no. That looks like spider webs. It does. Also, later, let's talk socks. Cool. Yeah, we can talk socks. It's a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. Let's just, it's so soft is this. Anyway, we're blending. Not blending. I know what I'm talking about sometimes. So yeah, I hope I have enough here, but we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> I love those scrapey noises. Yes, hoping to build towards a spectacular 2000, uh, 2022. Fingers crossed. Hi, Jules. Doing common and spinning at lace weight, but it's too rough for next to skin. Cool. Well, do you know what you could do with that? You can make a shawl. <laughs> thing about shawls right now but I also want to make a poncho I don't think I have enough um, Shetland alpaca to do a poncho but I do have enough Cheviot to do a poncho so at some point that is also something I want to do. But I'm also, look at this, also, there's lots of also's in this. Not only am I hoping to actually be able to put knitted patterns with select amounts of yarn. Or, um. I want to be able to sell knitted pieces that I've knitted as well. For those that like knitted garments but can't knit themselves. I know there's loads of people out there that do it, but... I'm enjoying knitting right now and I'll also do some crocheted stuff. And because, like... Like I say, I can't. I'll do my own and then write it up properly for the people to read. Not that much. 
I want to spin this on uh, the apprentice though. Um, so I'll have to put the yarn from one bobbin onto another one so that because it's only got two Ooh, silly sausage now i can do it all on the apprentice and then play it on um lancelot which is all good don't you just love it when it's all nice Apart from these bits, I don't know what's wrong with them, but I'll card them with some brushes. Your final weight of fibre might determine the plies. Yes, exactly. Um, about 200 grams, if not more. But we'll see. Whoa, did you see all the dust come off that then? That's dusty. That means it's going to be filthy under here. Woo! I love cleaning up after drunk over. Not. Just get in there. Get in there. That were gross. We are rooting for you. Need to put a full coverage under the shirt round to it. It will be cosy. Yeah, it would be cosy. Shawls are my answer to all questions. <laughs> What's for dinner, Shawls? <laughs> what are you doing today, Shawls? Yeah, I agree, Chris. I really do. It's like, oh, Sadie, what, what are you making that shawl? What are you doing? Spinning for a shawl. <laughs> what are you doing there? Prepping fibre to spin for a shawl. <laughs> Sadie, I've got some nice yarn. What can I make with it, shawl? <laughs> Can't wait to show you the uh, scrap shawl. It's nearly done, but it's downstairs in the bedroom because I was doing it in the bedroom last night. Fingers crossed, I have it finished by tomorrow. And I'll be able to show you tomorrow or Wednesday. Show you on Wednesday, not tomorrow. Do you know, it's so funny when it does this. Oh, 
Oh, that looks so much better, doesn't it? Oh, look at all rubbish from underneath. Gonna have to clean that. That looks so much nicer. Okay, when you're done carding that, before you go to spin, card a green base bat. A green base bat. Ooh. Let's have a look. See what green I've got. I need sorted. Right, let's have a look. You mean green? I have green. Green and white, but yeah, I've got. <coughs> oh yeah, found me out. This is my hat that I knitted. Isn't that cool? Right, this is Romney Paul with mix. So, do you want sparkles adding in? What do you want to make? Let's just put that to one side because we know what we're doing with that. Ew. This has all been picked already. Do we, oh, let's get a zap, let's get. And fire, and fire. Just make a mess a bit more. Yep. Let's have a look. Let's get the add-ins box out. So, if we're doing green. Do you want the green or do you want a pink and purple to, to pop through? Pull away the white a bit. That is green, but it's a darker green. It's a, um, what did I, I did Kelly green, no, I did spruce and emerald. There's the... A little bit already done there, so we can put that back through. They need picking, but that's all that's left that needs picking of them. So we can put all the white bits into that bag. So I know what they are and where they are because it's got a label in. Although generally... I remember what eat labels because I'm just that good. <laughs> Chris does ask me, and if I do forget, I put it as mystery or whatever it feels like. This Romney Polworth is amazing. Absolutely gorgeous it is. There we go, Chris. Don't take much to pull. But I 
Hi, Duana. Okay, this is going to be cool. Do you have little fuchsia um, or magenta to pop in for sparkle? Let's have a look. Right. That's got like a pearly sheen. You probably can't even blooming see it. Anyway, that one's called Crystallina. There's pink, um, merino. No, that isn't merino wool top at all. It's sari silk. Oh, you've got the pink and green. These. Claimed sari silk stuff. Then we've got, it looks more purple to me. There's raspberry, which is rather eye catching. Uh, there's that one. We've got like a light blue and white there, but not pink there. Pink nylon. Um, hand dyed by my wonderful self. Uh, pear. No, I've got. I think that's the same as that. Yes, it is. Otherwise, it's not in its own. That one's sugar plum. <laughs> no, unless it's only a tiny bit of raspberry, just a flicker of raspberry. That one. Do you want any sari silks in? No, no. Oh, we could put them in, actually, because that's got. Although that's got green, because that would highlight the green as well. Hi, Hecha. Right. So we'll put them away. Do you know, I love this box. And I keep adding to it. Love it. Right. That can be base, even though it's gone through once. Do it again. Fluff it up. I need to put my thing on back.
Do you know, just realised the one thing, the one uh, colour I really don't have in um, Angelina is gold. I was thinking about putting a bit of gold Angelina in them, but I don't have them. Could you lay it down only on one half of the roller and sprinkle the raspberry sparkle? Yeah, if I wanted to, I could do a smaller strip in the middle. I can do that afterwards if you want, when I go to blend it and make sure it's all together. Look up. <laughs> that strange pink merino. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the pink saris? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can put some of that in. Do you want me to put it with the sparkly bit, or when I'd add that next bit on next round? It's all going to get blended anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right, let me just, <laughs> I've confused myself now. So these are going to give it more texture because I am blended like I did with the bat. Until I put it through again. And then it should blend a bit better. Like that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Do 
do you like how they've gone on can you see it cool now another layer of green i'll just beautiful girl this looks like flowers in grass it looks like a money watercolor oh cool <coughs> i'm glad you're liking it this is why i like going live because people give me inspiration and not just that right now i'm doing what you like and how you want it <laughs> and what you want to see this is just this is amazing. I love it. Would you like a bit more sparkle? You want this, you want to add beads when you spin it. You'll have to message me, Chris. We'll 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 chat. Want some more of the bright pink or some more sparkle? More sparkle, I said, didn't I? Sparkle to sparkle. No, exactly. You are very right. <laughs> I can fit more on there. No, we don't want that white right bit.
much on us. This is um, Romney Polworth, and I'll definitely get it again. It's gorgeous. I advise anybody to get Romney Polworth cross mix, whatever you want to call them. They're amazing. Look, I could just pull a lock out. That's a lock. Oh, it's just amazing. It's gorgeous stuff. I do not advise anyone to take stuff off their drum card the way I do. I have ruined my drum card of doing it this way, but it's the only way I can do it without hurting my back. Right, do you want it putting through one more time to get? I don't know what that is. Don't like it. To get the top part more blended. Well, it'll all get more blended. Or I can strip it down middle, part it, and put it through that way so that you get strips going through it. No, please. <laughs> right. Just like that for you. Let's see how much it weighs. Don't want to wear chocolate as well. Make sure it's even. Can you see? Sorry, silk coming through. <laughs> Bang on 50 gram. So that's like, hang on, one and a bit ounce. No, two and a bit ounce. Or two ounce, something like that. Right. Grab a bag. Aren't you glad you got that out of your system? Now you can spin in peace. <laughs> Bless you. There we go. 50 grams of Romney Paul with Sari Silk and 
Angelina. My mechanic has requested my assistance, so I have to go. Okay, sweetheart, you have a nice afternoon. Love you lots. Message me, Chris, and I've got, I want to chat. <laughs> I want to chat. I've got a bit of a surprise for you. Um, I wouldn't be able to do the exact same again, Chris, because I don't have enough pop, uh, Romney Polworth left in green. I'm afraid. Oh, sorry. I only had 200 uh, grams, and that was before I washed it. I think it went down to just over 100 grams, which is about four ounces. I think that's right. I'm not sure. I can't think now. <laughs> the brain's just gone hurt. No. Do you know what? Just tip it on the table. Tip it on. Can tell it's been on the floor. Ew. In factory. Look at that. Are you ready? Oh, that's got dust in it. That's gross. Look at that. Don't think I'm using that. I'll do that another day. I'm going to have to go outside and fluff that up, I reckon. Because that were gross. Do you know what I might do? Oh, don't be daft, Kit Chris. Don't be daft. No. Don't you worry, sweetheart. It's all right. You've made me think now. I'm going to add bits of sari silk into these as well. But I'm going to add bits of pink and green. And don't feel bad. I don't mind. I'm only doing this because... It's in dust coming off that. That is wow. That'll be the alpaca. Don't like them bits. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add sari silk. To make it look like bright colourful bits every now and then. I need the brush. It's 
Yeah, I don't know where the gold one is and it's bugging me. But I've got a gold one and a blue one of these as well. I don't know where they are. I'm not sure I'm too keen on lap waste, but we'll get over it. <laughs> I will get over it. I think it's just because it's messy. And I have to redeal with it. Oh, yeah, it does. It gets gross. All right, then, hey, guys, see you later. Darling. West, right. Um, you know, in the mills, it goes through the big carders. Well, once it goes through the carder and then through to go either as comb top or bat, there's always some form of waste that the machine can't take or it'll be off one of the rollers. So stuff, but you don't pay the best stuff prices. And I got this given, so I can't whinge, to be fair. <laughs> I can, but it's not very nice to whinge about a gift. Lens is comb top. Um, so the lens you get comb top waste, which couldn't go through the process of doing what it needed to do.
Can you hear things outside? I'm too nosy for my own good me at times. Take that one off now, and then I can blend them two together. Get some savvy silk. Sounds like playing. Or it does in my head anyway. Took away a sec. Sorry, I'm not talking very much, am I? <laughs>
<laughs> yes. They definitely do turn in my head. See if it's our. Oh, it's looking like it. So I don't know if let's see if we can fluff it open a bit because. I did it on the small side in there I don't know if you can see it we've got pink and green bits of sari silk so fingers crossed looking through this grey brown yarn woohoo so that's what I'm doing So I need to do that again with this one. Might get two, actually. So that one's a lot thicker than the other one was. I know. <laughs> he doesn't like giving up the bat at all. He hates it. He's like, well, you've just fed me and now you're emptying me. What's that all about? <laughs> Pack a brush, Sarah. Then it's slightly different. Because why not? I'm different. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Uh, 
He is like a dog reborn, you're right. You don't like letting go of what I've fed him. <laughs> Is it warm or cold in Kentucky, Barbara? All right. I don't know if I told you the other day, but I'm reading books where they're set in Kentucky. <laughs> oh, not reading them. I'm listening to them. Hello? It is, yeah. Hi, you all right? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Oh, fantastic. Oh, thank you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. You're a star. Thank you very much. All right. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye. Yay. Hunter's been good at school. I wouldn't say it's a first, but it's good. Oh, God, Leanne's fallen downstairs again for the second time today. Or outside steps. Just silly sausage. She's a silly sausage. I was going to try and add that while I were doing it, but I changed my mind. So he's been an absolute superstar today and he's made all the right choices. Good lad. <laughs> um, either through Facebook, Instagram, um, email. I will answer to all three. Just let me have it, you grumpy sod. That one's slightly small side this time so we can see them. Um, yay! <laughs> and then we'll do another one. I'm going to have to do more than 100 grams. So I might have to do another one at some point. Yeah, all done now, it means I can just get it spun and knitted and not have to worry about later hmm we'll see do it every time Itch then. This one's bigger. Mm. 
I made it a bit easier, didn't it? Do you know, I knew we were going to have a good day today. He woke up in a good mood. And he's had good sleeps over the weekend. Normally he struggles a bit. Oh, I'm very proud of him. Sorry, I'm just repeating myself. Still talking about my boy. <laughs> this one's spread thinner than the small one, so I'm only putting one layer on of uh, sari silk. Because it's a lot thinner than the other one. Right. Should go through nicely enough. Don't like that bit. Or that. Or that. That bit's not so bad. Some bits of this are brown and I'm not sure if it's because it's bits that have been tangled around the, co the cogs or if it's done before it's been cleaned. I don't know. But it's also got brown in there. So, I don't know. I don't like it, whatever it is. So I keep taking it out. <laughs>
weigh all these before before See if this oh, I didn't feed him. <laughs> Last button. That's going to move everywhere. Well, as soon as it's done that. Look. Are you ready for this? Ew! That's gross. Look at that. Plus dust. It's a good job I've got a bin there, isn't it? There we go. I'm messy. I'm terrible. At this time, Sarah Silk entered. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Laurie. Those junk carders need a small tray sometimes to catch the junk. Do you know what? I've come up with an idea, Crystal. Right? There's... When I... 
I build my table for over there, there's going to be a specific place for my drum carder. There's going to be a hole underneath, and there's going to be under the table where I can slip in a bucket to catch it. Then all I have to do is remove the bucket, empty it, and put it back in. So that's my plans for my drum carding table. Well, I am, because I throw my woolen stuff on the floor. Where's that green bit? Did I use it all? Being artistic. <gasps> oh, brilliant. I'm glad that's done. You've got to have a bagel catcher. I need a new one because my old one died. And I really want a puppet, if not some ferrets. I love ferrets. I might get a ferret just to keep me company in attic. <laughs> I hope I'm a policeman. I need to watch Jungle Book. I keep coming out with Jungle Book songs, but it's been years since I've watched it. I think my, my brain's saying, Sadie, you need to watch 
Jingle Bell. <laughs> And we're nearly done. Then I just need to weigh it all. And we know what we're working with for the to start with. Yes, I do mean the cartoon version. Ferrets have loads of energy. That they do. I used to love playing with the ferrets when I was at the pets. Fun to give baths to. No, they're just so much fun. They're energetic, loving little animals. The quality. Yes, I mean the cartoon version. I love Jungle Book. I just love cartoons, films, to be fair. If it's got sing, singing songs in, I love it. Because I like Moana as well. And Frozen. And Tangled. And anything else that sings in it. <laughs> and I end up singing away the song. I mean, the film. You want to keep it, but tough. Right, so let's wear these bats. I don't think they're going to be much. They feel really light. But then I'm rubbish when it comes to weights. Right, that one's 46. That one's 28. So that's 60, 28. Let's write this down. 46, 28. Then I can add up because I'm not very good at adding. <laughs> Not good at doing maths. Twenty six. Another one. They're just hard work to thirty three. That's well bad. Twenty six, twelve, twenty, thirty, eight, four, sixteen, thirty. So there's hundred and thirty three grams there. Um Yeah. Twenty seven. The Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, that's cool. I see it's true. Oh, oh, that an ape like me. <laughs> Can I learn to be human too? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> 
133 is making me think I need some more. But I've got enough down there and enough of that to redo it if I need to. So I'm going to leave it at 133 grams and see if I can see if I can work it like that. <laughs> That's just over 4.5 ounces. Yeah. Because 100 grams is 4.14, is it? I don't know. Four ounce is 114 grams. That's why I got that wrong then. So, yeah. <laughs> that is so very true, Kim. Right. Well, let's just move that over there. Out it where let's add that over there to put that in. So we've got Shetland alpaca with sari silk ready to go to make a shawl. Yay! So, my lovelies, it is my time to go because Hunter shall be home from school soon. I love you all so very much. Of course. That's a fat single braid. Which bit? I'm confused. I'm always confused. Well, anyway, I've got to go and get Hunter. Love and hugs to all you wonderful people. No matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, or night time. I want you to do what you love doing. And I'll see y'all again tomorrow. Bye, beautifuls. You are very welcome, Chris. Thank you for keeping me company. Too.